It's been a steady uphill climb for blues rock band Flash Lightning since their formation in 2007. This year, they returned from the studio sporting their sophomore release for the Sinners. This one, we particularly went the hardest road. We did it where you don't just, you, you don't fix it. You learn to really execute it so that you, and that's very difficult because it requires a lot of patience and practice. All our albums are a guitar, one amp, one bass, one amp, and a drum kit. There's, it doesn't, there's not like 15 guitars, 15 different amps. If I can have you, like I wanted to, if I can have you, like I wanted to. The album is set to be released on April 29th, and in the category of best timing ever, the band was chosen to open for classic rockers ZZ Top on their Canadian tour dates that included nine shows from Brandon, Manitoba to Victoria, BC throughout March. It also just so happened that the new album reached the band just in time for the first date of the tour. It's kind of exciting. Uh, people are drawn to it. They don't, they've never really heard us and it's, they come up to us at merch and they, they, they just go, I'll take that one. They don't know why, but there's something, there's a, a, a synergy, I think they call it, is, is happening with For the Sinners. After years of idolizing ZZ Top and playing covers of their music in bars across the country, the band couldn't believe their luck in having the opportunity to tour with the rock icons. But they didn't have much time to get starstruck as they focused on giving the fans the best show they could. I don't want to say it's a dream come true, because it is, but once it's kicked in to play with um, people that are a big inspiration to us, we found that, that you don't have time to even think about it. You just start, you, we're here to do our job, and that is the most important. And you realize that you're, I have the same responsibility as they do on the stage tonight, and it feels great. It's a great responsibility to have. And of course, you can't tour with a band that has been rocking stages around the world for 45 years without picking up a few tips. You realize how hard they work, how dedicated they are to their fans, how dedicated they are to entertaining, and it's something that I've been taking notes because it's, it goes beyond, it goes beyond all the other BS. It's about it's doing doing the job, you know. And if you put everything into it like that, you get the outcome from the people. So it's it's what we're focusing on and want to do and learning from, and it's it's absolutely amazing. Guess I'm gonna have to hunt you down.